Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Ramya Jairam. I'm an infertility specialist and chief reproductive surgeon at Women's Center by Motherhood, Coimbatore. What is adenomyosis? So normally, we have a lining called the endometrium which is inside the uterus and this endometrium is what grows during the cycle. So when you have a bleeding, it is this endometrium is what sheds out and when the bleeding is done, which means your periods are done, this endometrium starts to grow slowly over a period of time and when an egg ruptures and ovulates and if a baby does not form, this endometrium sheds out. So basically, it is a, it is a cyclical process which grows through the cycle and then it sheds at the end of the cycle if there is, uh, if a pregnancy doesn't happen. So normally, this endometrial lining completely sheds out but for a very small group of women who have a genetic tendency again it is genetic not only for for their own body but it may be something which has been passed on from the previous generation so if they have a genetic tendency or if they have certain conditions like PCO where the levels of estrogen in their body is high some women who have fibroids which is affecting this flow from coming out normally in this group of women, what happens is when this bleeding comes out, a few cells go back in reverse. They go back in reverse and they may either get deposited in the body of the uterus or they may go out through the tube and go and get deposited in the ovaries. So when this cell goes and gets deposited in the body of the uterus, it accumulates over a period of time. And when this accumulation happens, if for example, these cells are getting deposited in the front wall of the uterus, when this happens over a period of time, that wall becomes thicker and thicker and thicker because of this accumulation of cells that happens here. And sometimes we even notice that there will be blood clots in the body of the uterus because this endometrial cells which goes and gets deposited there bleeds during the cycle and it forms like pools of blood in the body of the uterus as well. So this thickening which happens is what we call as adenomyosis. And the cells which goes in outside the uterus and gets deposited either on the surface of the uterus or in the ovaries or if it gets deposited in the intestines that is something what we call as endometriosis so a very common terminology that people use is something called chocolate cyst it's an endometriotic cyst is otherwise called a chocolate cyst because when these cells go and get deposited in the ovaries it bleeds there so every time a lady has a cycle, she bleeds not only, you know, uh, vaginally, but also there is bleeding that happens in this endometriotic tissue, which is deposited in the ovary. And when this blood accumulates there, over a period of time, it becomes a chocolate brown color. And when we operate and we open that cyst, we find that it is, you know, it is chocolate color. And over, uh, that is why it is called as a chocolate cyst for, you know, as a common terminology. So adenomyosis is the thickening of the wall of the uterus and endometriosis is something which happens outside the uterus.